all right guys welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to go into introduction to offensive security the last couple of videos we already finished introduction to cybersecurity, and i reset web application security module let's get right into it just know guys the first couple of modules are just read throughs and uh, simple questions but i highly recommend just reading through it so you understand what kind of careers in like the cyber field and um, also builds up your confidence because later on even though some of the modules are easy uh, some of them I actually got stuck for a while and had to come back and got comfortable completing those modules but anyways let's get right into it so uh, task one introduction highly recommend read through all this and what do you need to access a web application so you read through this there's a second paragraph says a web application is like a program that we can use while installation as long as we have a modern standard web browser so it should be browser Oh yeah, that's correct. It's good to redo this. I can't retain knowledge while practice and going through these modules helped me, you know, retain this knowledge. And um, also currently I'm not in the IT industry, but this is something I like to do on my off time and I like learning this stuff. So task two, application security risk. Scroll down. You discovered that the login page allows an unlimited number of login attempts while trying to slow down the user or lock the account. What is the category of this security risk? So as you read through this, there is this paragraph right here talks about identity passwords. So I assume it's identification and authentication failure as you can see these uh, asterisk looks like it that's correct second question you notice that the username and password are sent in the clear text without encryption what is the category of the security risk so it talks about clear text and encryption and if you read through to the last paragraph I believe is cryptographic failures. Highlight and copy. This should be the correct answer. Yep. All right. Task three: Practical exam of web application security. So, click view site. And what is the questions below? Check the other users to discover which user account was used to make the malicious changes and revert them. After reverting the changes, what is the flag that you have received? All right, guys, click hint. On the site, on the right, click your activity and try to enter numbers between five and 10 instead of 11 in the user ID 11. All right, so as instruction, this inventory management system manages all the shipments related to tires. A competitor sent a group of malicious actors to sabotage our logistics. The attackers used the account of one of the employees and mix up the planned shipments. If incorrect shipments are sent, production will be delayed. So the hint says, go to your activity. Now it's talking about changing user ID 11. So remember it was five to 10. So what we do is delete 11, it's five, there's no five. Let's try six, nope, seven, no recent activity, but there is a user. There is a user, but no activity and voila user ID number nine. So Aliyah and there's 
inventory changes. And what you do is you just click revert, revert, all of them, and voila, you got the answer. Highlight and copy, and it should be it. So complete it, and you can uh, share this room and link in, which I usually do, but I already did, so I'm not gonna do anymore. And thanks for watching, guys. If you like this format, please uh, give a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment uh, for me to improve these uh, videos. And um, yeah, I'm really enjoying doing this and can't wait to get uh, deeper into uh, cybersecurity or these uh, rooms at tryhackme.com. I found it very educational. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.